In this video, we will solve the problem and we will find the minimum point uh, of the given function using interval halving method. So the problem is uh, f of x is x square plus 54 by x and a is uh, 0, b is 5. So this is a unimodal function. So now we will solve it. Okay. So here a equal to 0, b equal to 5, then what is the length of the interval? Length will be 5 minus 0, that is 5. So initial length is 5. Okay. And here the epsilon is given 10 to the power minus 3. So what is the role of epsilon? The role of epsilon is that L should be less than zero less than epsilon then we have to stop okay so this is the stopping criteria okay now using this information first we will find iteration 1 so what is iteration 1 we have to see so for each iteration as we know for interval having method we have to find three points for, so first is xm so xm is nothing but a plus b by 2 so using this information what is xm xm will be 2.5 okay then we will find x1 what is x1 x1 is a plus l by 4 that means a is 0 plus l is what 5 5 by 4 okay so what will happen so it will be 1.25 Okay. Similarly, x2 will be b minus l by 4. That is what? 5 minus 5 by 4. This will be what? 3.75. Okay. So, based on this, we have to find the function value. So, function value at x1 will be what? If I put this x1 value in this function, so it will be x1 square plus 54 by x1. So th that value will be what? This one. 44.75. Okay. Similarly, we can find x f of x2. So f of x2 will be what? If I put x2 here in place of x, then we will get f of x2. So f of x2 will be 28.46. Okay. So Next thing is that f of xm we have to find. So similarly, if we, pay, uh, we put xm, okay, then what is the function value? We will get 27.85. Okay. Now how to decide which interval I have to take and which to eliminate. So initially we have a and b, okay. Then we have xm 2.5 and x1 so x f of x1 is uh, this one x1 is 1.25 and x2 is what 3.75 okay now we have to compare okay what to compare let's see f of x1 with f of xm so we can see that f of x1 is 44.75 and f of xm is 27.85 that means f of x1 is greater than f of xm okay if f of x1 is greater than f of xm then we have to cut this interval okay because from this point onwards it is function value is more okay similarly uh, f of x2 is 28.46 which is again mm, more than f of xm so we have to delete this part so what do we left so only we left this one okay 1.25 to 3.75 okay so this will be the next length for the next iteration okay. next we will find iteration 2 okay so for iteration 2 what is the length length is 3.75 minus 1.25 and a is 1.25 okay and uh, b is 1 3 point sorry 
seven five. So what is the length? Length will be what? This is two point five. Okay. So you have to take this value and you have to continue. So now what to do? So we have to construct x one. So similar formula a plus l by four. Here a is this one point two five plus l is what? Two point five by four. Okay. Like that we have to find so a. A will be this value one point eight seven five. Similarly, x two value is b minus l by four. That is same thing we will do. We are taking this b and this t, taking this l. So it will be three point one two five and midpoint x m will be two point five. So based on this, we will find this f of x one, this f of x two, and f of x m. Then we will compare. Okay. So initially. Our length is 1.25 and 3.75 and midpoint is 2.5. We got x1 that is 1.875, x2 that is 3.125. Okay. Now we'll see at this point at x1, f of x1 is 32.32, f of xm is 27.85. That means f of x1 is greater than f of xm. So we have to delete this portion. Okay. Next thing is that f of x2. F of x2 is 27.05. F of xm is 27.85. That means f of xm is greater than f of x2. So it will be this region. So finally, what we got? We got this value. So 2.5 to 3.75. Now iteration three will do. Okay. So similarly. Here a will be what? This 2.5. B will be what? 3.75. Then x2 will be what? B minus means 3.75 minus 1.25 by 4. And this will be this value 3.4375. Similarly, you can calculate xm. Xm will be 3.125 because this is uh, a plus b by 2. So you got this thing. Now we'll compare those things. So you have to compare the function value. So initially, what we have a is 2.5, b is 3.75, and x m is 3.125. X one is 2.8125, and x two will be 3.4375. So what to do? We have to see the function value at here, and we will compare with x one f of x m value. So f of x one is twenty seven point one one, f of x m is twenty seven point zero four five. That means at this place the function value is more, so we have to delete this value, this interval. Next f of x two is twenty seven point five three, and f of x m is twenty seven point zero four five. So f of x two is greater than f of x m, so we have to delete these values. That means we have to delete this. Interval. So finally, what we got? We got the interval 2.8125 and 3.4375, and the length will be 0. Point, what? 625. So here we have presented only three iteration. So in the question, either it will be mentioned uh, to find the number of iterations, or the stopping criteria is given. If stopping criteria is given, then every Uh, iteration we have to find the l and we have to see whether this value is less than epsilon means 10 to the minus 3 or not okay so epsilon value will be given in the question okay so if it is there then we have to do uh, similarly more iterations to stop okay